I looked at the traffic zones and really getting out of the fire zones is a standstill. Like right now we're driving kind of quickly quickly because we're driving the direction of a lot of the fires. So nobody's really going this way. <laughs> smart, 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 smart. That's how it feels right now. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas, and it's time to celebrate. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Kitty. How are you? It's 8.30 right now in the morning. We're at Colleen's house. And we woke up like six o'clock-ish. And it smelled really heavily of smoke. And so we were a little worried and we looked into it and there's another fire that's close to here now. So we're not totally sure what to do. That is really heavily smoky smelling and it's raining ashes so you know those things are kind of alarming so this is Colleen's pool and as you can see it's just coated in ash what do you think of all this Duncan you think it's silly <laughs> yeah you don't mind so anyway flakes of ash are raining from the sky it feels less safe here than it did at our house last night and I think the air quality is just really something to be concerned about, especially with a little baby. So I'm not quite sure what our next move is, but I think we're not gonna probably stay here much longer. Look at how red the sun is. This isn't even picking it up. It's like so red. The sky is getting darker and darker with smoke. The ash is getting thicker. It's getting harder to breathe. And there's just fires everywhere in California right now. There's four major fires in Southern California and a bunch of little spot fires. Hey, Hi. I feel so sick. Did you show them the sun and the pool? Yeah, it's crazy. Did you show them the pool? Yes, but I'm gonna go outside and show you more because it's just, I'm, I'm, I've only been doing stuff from the window because I don't go want outside. to go outside. Yeah, we've been trying to stay in as much as possible. There's actually an advisory where we're at, we're at to like not go outside. So we go out like a little bit, but it's still like it reeks of smoke in the house We're trying to figure out where we can escape to there are fires actually everywhere like we're surrounded like surrounded. So I'm gonna brave it and go outside just to show you guys what's going on out there even like the neighbor's yard or like the hedges here They're misty. It's like I'm actually in smoke. It's not like there's smoke somewhere way above me and it's blocking the Sun This is thick dense air and this is the pool right now that's the pool piles of ash at the bottom it's almost like it's snowing out here there's little debris just kind of floating around everywhere the big problem with all of this has been the wind you can kind of see it at the treetops here we have these big gusts of wind and that mixed with fire look at this there's big chunks of of ash like floating past but that mixed with fire means that it's just uncontrollable like we they, they can't contain these fires and they're just spreading super quick our house seems to be okay we might go back there get some more stuff and then just leave town altogether but we don't know where to go because everything's on fire so we're leaving Queens. we just had to get out of the area because the air is so thick with smoke and it's kind of scary with the baby and Parker's had pneumonia and Christopher's had pneumonia and so we're a little nervous about smoke issues. We are going to head back home because right now, at least earlier in the day, the fire went a different direction. I don't exactly know where it is. That's like the hardest thing about all of this is like I'm checking Twitter, just like crazy checking Twitter and I'm looking at maps and stuff and it'll usually be like a map and then like a little fire flame symbol like somewhere in the center of where the fire is. But the fire is like 50,000 acres. It's massive. So it's hard to tell if it's going to us or not. We don't really know what's going on, but we figure we can go home really quick, check it out, see if it does seem safe. It's not in an evacuation zone. We would never ever go into an evacuation zone. That's not what I mean at all. But we are gonna go and grab a few more things, get a little more organized because we left last night kind of in a hurry. For example, we grabbed like one hard drive and we have a lot more. So we're gonna go and grab some more hard drives. We're gonna just check in on everything. 
I don't know if we have power or not. People in our area, some of them have power, some of them don't. So that's kind of where I'm at. That, that was also what was hard last night about packing was that the, we didn't have lights to like yeah. look for things. So it was all like flashlight and candles. candles. And, 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 and I have to say like overall, I was really proud of us for um, our readiness because I, we did have flashlights and candles ready. We did have, um, my portable charger which is like massive I, I have several portable charger but my massive one was like fully charged which if you have a portable charger that can sometimes be a little bit of a miracle like sometimes it's like they're so great but you have to do that part of it i was really really happy that i was ready i knew exactly where it was and it was in there charging and it was like so ready for us and and that really helped us both through the night because it's charger that could ch charge both of our phones this is so crazy but the best new source is Twitter. Like Twitter and then second place is Facebook for being able to find out any information at all. Like I have been scouring for information and you, they're just like, there isn't any. But Twitter has been really incredible <laughs> looking at like the fire hashtags and then there's some other news alert people and I've been following them and watching what they, and they stayed up all night. I think at this point they're, they're now evacuating so they can't post anymore. So I'm really grateful for Twitter. I've been telling like, anybody I know that doesn't really use Twitter, like get on Twitter and check the updates there because that has been the most valuable resource. Part of me is like, okay, we're okay, we're safe, right? We're safe, like we're not gonna overreact about this, like things are okay. But then there's another side that is like really dramatic and actually has been kind of not okay. One of those things is my mom and my sister, they live like kind of near the heart of where a lot of this is happening. And my sister got her kids and she had to actually drive into where um, my mom my mom was asleep. And gosh, there's so much to this. The fire, the fire started in one spot. So people went to sleep going, okay, there's a fire up there. But then the winds are moving so fast that it moved like rapidly and into a rather large city in our area. And where homes are and like into a city. But it did it at night when people were asleep and they didn't know they didn't go to sleep thinking at all that it would move that far that fast there was no it was predicted to, to potentially move that far like in the morning but people couldn't really have anticipated that it would have done what it did so my mom went to sleep and she said her phone was on but we all tried calling her and it didn't work so it, that could have been you know phone lines or whatever but nobody could reach her and she ended up in an evacuation zone and in a place where the fire was like like you could see it they, they saw the flames as my, my sister went and she got my mom woke her up got her out of the house and basically rescued her and they all drove down the coast away from the fires and that's where they slept last night they just had a really 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 crazy night i, th I think barely anybody probably in this whole area has gotten much sleep i looked at the traffic zones and really getting out of the fire zones is a standstill like right now we're driving kind of quickly quickly because we're driving the direction of a lot of the fire so nobody's really going this way <laughs> smart 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 that's how it feels right now i'm just so happy we got out of there right away because if you look behind us there's like this big thick line of purple gray black smoke and it's just so thick and scary. I don't know if you can see that, but back in the distance there's this purple stuff that's like purple, black, ish, grayish. It's really light now, but you can almost see it. There's just smoke everywhere. Ashes are flying around. Even here where the sky is really blue. And last night was just really scary. I bet you'd be really scared when, if you were asleep and in the middle of the night you get woken up with your mom running in the room telling you to get in the get, to get dressed, um, grab a blanket and a pillow and a book, a book or so, and get in the car because there's a fire coming this way. Like, it was it was just so scary. Um, Mommy showed us the big clump of fire right, right near our house after like 10 minutes of driving. It was like really scary. Some of the people leaving. It's pretty ominous. 
So it goes from all the way over there, all the way to here. So it's 50,000 acres for one fire and 10,000 acres, I believe, for another fire and another like 500 acres for another fire. See how hazy it is? We are finally back home and the power is on, so that's good news. That's number one, power on. Number two, internet's on. Number three, the fire isn't here. And number four, it doesn't smell like smoke. So the we're gonna stay here for a while. Number one, Christopher. That's number one. Well, no, I, I was just listing them in no particular order. Yeah, don't laugh were, at me, Duncan. You were listing them exactly don't in you, order. Don't you laugh at me, Duncan. Are you ready for Advent? Are you ready for app? Whoa! One good thing about being home, well there's lots of good things, but one of the good things, in no particular order, is that we're going to do Advent now. It does feel good to be home, do you guys think so? Yeah. Yeah? Feels good to be home? Yeah. All right. But I still want to be at the Auntie Panties. <laughs> do you like being in Auntie Panties house? Yeah, but, but, go first? but the pool is fainted. We're never gonna go in that pool ever again. <laughs> what? It's forever and clean. <laughs> you just... Oh man, that pool was fainted. What does fainted mean? Uh, when you're, you can't say anything and your eyes are closed. Look at his legend status. I, I think he just came up with the term fainted for when something's done. You just say, that is so fainted. Wait, that's, that's fainted. that's so cool. That's so cool. I like that name. I really like that name. Hashtag so fainted. Are you too fainted to open up your advent calendar? Cause you're first. Cause you gotta build it. What? He's worm fainted. If you can't already tell, we are all super tired. We didn't sleep much last night. It's been exhausting. Like worrying about stuff, it's exhausting. Don't you guys think? <gasps> Is this long enough? I'm so exhausted that I'm so fainted. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a guy. Oh my gosh, you can't play with Is this Olaf? I don't know, probably. You're missing it, Duncan. You're missing it. A gown. Oh, that's a bell. A bell. It does Ooh. look like a gown. <laughs> you got a bell. Ooh. Did he notice that I just bonked him in his head? He did, he's not sure how to respond <laughs> to the offense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will do that away from your head from now on. It was a tough call. You had your hands around him so he wouldn't fall forward. And I bonked him in the face, mom, mom style. Hey, okay. yeah, it's a bell. Let's put it in the Christmas village. Look, Duncan. It's my the Christmas village. Oh, mom joke. For LaCroix out loud, Jessica. <laughs> Where's number five? Where's oh. Duncan? Duncan. Oh. Ooh, a penguin. A penguin? Waddle, 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 like the penguin. Waddle, 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 like the penguin. Waddle, 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 like the penguin. Waddle, waddle, waddle. That's not a penguin, Jacob. You gotta learn your animals. Okay, I'm gonna let you have one more. Angel Gabriel came to Mary and told her God had chosen her to be the mother of his son. All right, let's find out what language it is. Oh, it has yellow, my favorite color. German. Ooh, how do you say it in German? <laughs> Weihnachten, that would be my guess. I think you're right. Freulich Weihnachten. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with Jessica's right. Yeah, Jessica's right. Jessica's uh, always right. I had a good thing going yesterday, but now I'm ripping up my whole calendar. Oh, well. <laughs> Surgeon. All right. This is that one that we just had, that, the one that's your favorite. The North Pole? I think so. This one? I think it's North Pole. That makes Smells like yes. something. That's the sugar apple. 
Sugar apples. There's That's no apples in there. Sugar something maybe. I would call this sugar snow. Sugar snowballs. What do you think it is? Ginger delight. Ooh. All right, let's check out my advent calendar. <laughs> Ooh, it's a gingerbread house. Is it? Really? There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. There, there, there it is. What? There. There's a gingerbread house. Thank you, Parker. I'm gonna make a real one soon. Ooh, that sounds good. It's time for the town lighting. Three, two, two one. Merry Countdown. Merry Ooh, there we go. look at that. Look at that little Christmas lights hey. all over the village. Mom, nice this addition, one. Jacob. Mom, this is what a beautiful Christmas village. And Forgot something oh, else. Oh, a Christmas carol. Dashing through the snow in the one horse open sleigh. Here over the fields we go. Laughing all the way. way. Ha, ha, ha. Bells on pop bells ring. Making spirits ride. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. One more. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. One more. Good tidings we bring <laughs> to you. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. A Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. It's good to be home. <laughs> They thought it was a fire, so we evacuated. And then we got all grandma because we was scared. She bought us a she bought us a room and like it was a hundred dollars. And there was no electricity. None. Until the morning. 